Evening Steve, um, a satisfying 4-1 victory today at home, New Manor Ground, um, good performance all round? Uh, in spells, yeah, it wasn't fully satisfying, we said inside, when you're not your greatest and you win 4-1, obviously something's going really well, but at some point when it all clicks, you know, we're looking for that complete performance, so we haven't really got there yet. It's good to see as well, the goals are coming from all over the pitch, aren't they, from different players, we're not relying on one or two players to, to keep... To keep getting the wins are we? No, well it's obviously our main goal threat because he plays highest up the pitch. Lavelle scored a nice goal early on today, uh, Jamie's got another penalty. But we look at goal threat from most places, you know, Hoppo's always good for a goal. But yeah, but it's nice when everybody else chips in and we're not reliant on one body, so, but Elliot, like I say, just looks our main goal threat and scored two good goals today. Yeah, um, so we, we look at defence again as well today, we conceded one early on, How, what were your th thoughts on conceding there? I don't like conceding goals, you know that. I hate yeah. conceding free kicks, uh, but the, the header was, I don't know, it was a bit of a free goal, and it came off two people, but, you know, Mitch has potentially got to do better, but, you know, we got back in the game quickly after they uh, equalised, uh, and we saw the game through. Yeah, I think that when we scored our second goal, their heads may have gone down a little bit, but saying that, you know, they, they hit the post, didn't they, in the first half, when the, the, the long ball in, um, they could have nicked another one there, couldn't they, and gone in at 3-2? Three, at three yeah, they could, but we've missed three or four chances first half, we've missed two or three chances second half, so, you know, the score could have been higher, but I'm quite happy with the 4-1. Yeah, and um, I suppose, suppose we're going to have to talk about the inevitable again. Um, well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't your last game with us today. Oh, where are we on that one at the moment? Uh, I'm with Notts County tomorrow. Uh, so I'll take next week as it comes. Uh, obviously, we've got an FA Vars game at Ilkeston. Notts County got a game home against Forest Green Rovers. Uh, so, you know, I'll sit down with the chairman in the next couple of days and find out what the long, what long term plan is. But for today, I'm, I'm happy for today. Yeah, well, how. Easy, well, probably more difficult, is it? Has it been over the last couple of weeks, sort of combining the two things? There, you've been at Knotts as a, a first team coach now for a couple of months as well, and your, full, your job here at Ilkeston. Mm. Has it been difficult juggling that? Because it must be hard on your time. Yeah, it is. It's it's hard uh, trying to focus on one thing at a time. Today's been difficult. Obviously, the news uh, about the gaffer at Knotts happened yesterday, uh, so we had a game today to concentrate on. So it has been tough, you know. I said to Deke today, he might have to take more control today because I just need to sit down and try and clear my head a little bit. Uh, so he's taken over a little bit more today and done really well. But you know, like I say, I'll assess this week and uh, after I spoke to the chairman. Is the the Knotts job does that sort of does that appeal to you? No, I've just been told my short term. So I'll I'll take charge, take training tomorrow, and see where it goes from there. Okay, well, I mean, if this does turn out to be last game, I'm sure I'll speak on behalf of everyone at the club and everyone, all of the fans around the new matter ground at Ilkeston, thank you for what you've done, Chets. Um, it's been great, and I'm sure everyone in this ground is going to be sorry to see you go. Thank you. Very nice, right. Rose. That's great. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks very much, Thanks. Chets.